Hey, so you want to do something like a volume and you want to copy that volume like a quick smoke effect or something like that. So what you will do, you just create a cube, for example, and we just do it with a uh, with a quick smoke effect, you know, this kind of quick smoke effect. The problem that you have is that at the moment the domain, this the big box around it, in the physics tabs, if you go to this here, you see you have like a um, 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 uh, replay. Change it to modular. Modular will make sure, and we can also make it resumable, that you will have um, uh, always the same after baking. So you just bake the data and it takes a, mm, a couple of seconds on my machine. I should have uh, shrink the size, but uh, well, whatever. So, and now you have this wonderful animation and now you can just copy and paste this little thing, you know, and you can do whatever you want. These were uh, Alt-D duplicates, this is in Shift-D duplicate, and you see it just works perfectly, just as you would assume it should work. So, what else? Um, now that we have this open uh, VDB file, you can actually go and delete everything and I hope that it works because I'm not sure if it deletes then the uh, open VDB files. But afterwards, you can simply go and say, uh, add me um, an volume, an empty volume, or here, the import open VDB, but it would say empty. So, and then in the settings, you can point to your temp folder. You won't see that now because I have that blocked. But this is like a the temp folder of this open VDB in the data you have like a file and you will see it in a moment down there so uh, I grabbed the first one god damn it this is strangely ah there the first file then you can even say a sequence you can say that it has 250 frames because it has and then you can see you have your animation imported this is like the animation that we just created and you can even work with different uh, information, inflow information, whatever, temperature. Uh, yeah, th these are the values you can later use, for example, when you want to create a more interesting shader for it. But this way, yeah, you have that and you can also do duplicates. And isn't this nice? Awesome, right? I love it. Well, that's it for today. Have fun.